Hello there folks, it's Dazza at the Yard uh, and today's video is not really about uh, me or about my cars, um, my, my how-tos or anything like that. It's um, about how a group of people came together uh, to create a day um, that was very successful. Uh, it was held at Santapod on Friday the 13th of May uh, this year, 2022. And it was super successful uh, day where about 120 cars turned up and probably, uh, I don't know, 150 people were there. This actually started in December 2021 when I was actually having an exhaust fitted to my Mustang at a garage. The garage name is Shefford Garage and they had a major contribution towards this effort that ran to the Santa Pod day in this May. Uh, the uh, garage owner um, uh, had uh, asked me to place a donation into the motor neuron disease charity, uh, which I duly did. But I did argue that I wanted to actually spend, you know, place, uh, pay, pay, pay for the work uh, for him as well. But he insisted that I made that uh, donation solely to the charity. And this then formed the ACORN, I guess, the foundation for a group of us to come together uh, to do this work and actually set up this successful day that we had in May at Centipod. So it is with thanks to um, Phoebe to Julia, to Cassie, uh, Jay, Mark, Perry, and the Shefford Garage team, uh, that this all came together, and we were all particularly, we were very much all strangers, a team of us, um, you know, um, some of us only known each other a year or two years, and less than that for most of us, and we actually all came together and built this successful event. So this little video is about that. It's about a, um, about uh, you can see on my cap here. Uh, it's it's got GTG and it's got um, AutoLink, and this is Perry's uh, events company, AutoLink, which is trying to uh, get up and running. That's good. And GTG was the branding that we had for this specific event as well. And as I say, this raised um, a lot of money for the motor neuron disease charity, um, and I'm hoping that it's reached. For every pound that we have made, it's reached as many people in terms of the awareness of the disease as well. So I really do hope that that has hit home with so many people. But anyway, uh, I'll leave you now with the video uh, to show the enjoyment of the day. And um, thank you very much for watching it. Let me tell you this local story because the family of a Biggleswade man who bravely fought motor neuron disease are trying to spread awareness in his memory. Uh, James Ellery passed away aged just 23 in June last year, leaving behind his wife and two children. This month, they'll be raising funds through an event at Santa Pod with show cars, drag racing and trade stands. It looks like it's going to be a really good event. Uh, James's mother-in-law, Julia, joins us now. Julia, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Can I ask you, uh, Julia, look, James is, it, it seems that the time for James between diagnosis and his passing was incredibly short. Do you mind me asking what happened to James? No, not at all. Um, yeah, it was incredibly short. That's right. Um, James was diagnosed in January um, when he was 22 and James passed in June when he was 23 right um it it he just had rapidly progressing motor neuron disease um it started off the year before when james just thought he'd injured his shoulder um his arm at work and then things progressed from then so it was just a shoulder injury and that but that was the first sign that was the first sign looking back um from what we know now there were signs before um, James used to trip up up the stairs a lot, which I always used to take the Mickey out of him for, just thinking he was clumsy, um, you know, because he was always in a rush or forgetful or whatever. But now, obviously, learning about the disease, which was something we knew absolutely nothing about before James's diagnosis, we realised that um, that is one of the early symptoms. But the main symptom which James suffered first was the loss of the use of one of his arms. 
I mean, I'm, unfortunately, I, I've known people who who have um, developed MND and have lost their lives, but I've never heard of anybody um, being diagnosed in in January and then by June they've gone and 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 not at such a young age. No, I mean this is it. We, like I say, we didn't know a lot about um, motor neuron disease before this. I think everyone's heard of Stephen Hawkins. Yeah. Everyone always associates motor neuron disease with Stephen Hawkins. Um, never in our wildest dreams would a 22-year-old, James, a member of our family, be diagnosed with a terminal illness and be taken so quickly. It was unheard of. James was one of the youngest in the country, um, and he's certainly it was just so fast. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked, Julia. I mean, I, I know of James's story, but I didn't realise the decline had been so rapid. And, and it is, you all know better than I, it is horrible to watch because it, it's, it's a disgusting disease. It's, I think any terminal illness, um, any loss of a life is heartbreaking. Um, but with motor neuron disease, this is, it's horrendous to watch. I mean, James progressed so fast. He would, it, he would change by the week. You know, one minute he could barely stand, then it would go to one leg, then the other leg. And, you know, in the end, it took everything away from him to the point he couldn't, you know, he couldn't even blink. That's what it does. It's horrendous. But everyone still knows what's, they still know what's going on. They just can't yeah. communicate. It's, it's cruel. And That's what it is. It's cruel. James had a real love of cars. So this event, it seems to be a perfect, a perfect fit. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. James would have absolutely loved this. And that's why um, the idea and how the idea progressed. So what exactly will be happening at this event at Santa Pod? So at Santa Pod on the date, it's on Friday the 13th, the next Friday, um, there's going to be drag racing, show cars, and there'll be music, food stands, traders, and then we've got some special guests as well. So it looks, it's going to be a fun day. Okay. And it, well, is it an all-day event? Um, it's an all-day event. It's at 8 till 5. Hey guys, it's Pezza at Autolute. Friday the 13th of May 2022, get the date in your diary. We're heading over to Santa Pod for one of their biggest shows of 2022, GTG Powered by Autolute. <laughs> Okay, guys, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's bag this right up again. Let's start again, start this thing again. 